जय बाबा चैप्टर 19 देयर वाज अ जेंटलमैन बाय द नेम ऑफ मुले मुले शास्त्री हु लिव्ड इन नासिक मुले वाज एन ऑर्थोडॉक्स अग्निहोत्री ब्राह्मण ही हैड कम टू शिरडी टू मीट बापू साहेब बुट्टी हु वाज एन एक्सट्रीमली रिच बट काइंड हार्टेड मैन हु लव्ड बाबा डियरली Mule was not interested in Sainath as he already had a guru whom he worshiped with deep reverence. Also the fact that most people believed that Baba was a Muslim seemed to be a huge deterrent in his approach to accept Baba as a guru. After the meeting Butti decided to go along with the other devotees to spend time with Sainath. Baba as usual was in masjid ai people knew of his schedule and this was a good time to spend with their lord and master mule decided to go along with his friend and spend some time with this fakir we must understand that mule was a well learned gentleman he was not only exceedingly religious completely steeped into ritualistic worship and studied the shastras but was also a well learned person in the field of astrology and palmistry he went to meet baba sai and was truly happy to meet him the devotees offered sweetmeats and coconuts to baba baba would usually bless whatever was given to him and then distributed as prasad to all those who were present when they were seated a fruit seller came and stood outside the mosque she would often come and baba would buy fruits from her on and off to distribute to his followers he bought guavas bananas and mangoes he would spend his own money to buy the entire basket of mangoes or bananas and then distributed them to all those who were present with lots of love and maternal instinct he had a special way of offering the fruits to those who were seated take mangoes for example baba would pick up the mango one at a time and then he would press the mango thoroughly between his palms he would give the mango to the person seated in front of him all the person had to do was hold the mango and delicately suck on it and the juice and the pulp would enter the mouth and delight the one eating the mango baba would rarely eat any of the mangoes maybe once in a while when he was in the mood he would taste the mango the pulp would be consumed and the skin and seed would be chucked out of the mosque He had a unique way of distributing and eating bananas too. He would peel the banana, hand over the peeled banana to his devotees, and once again, only if he was in the mood, he would consume only the skin of the banana. For some strange reason, he rarely ever ate the fruit. Strange and delightful is our master Sai. That day. Baba purchased bananas and distributed them to all those present. Mule was very keen on reading Baba's palm, but Baba was in no mood to oblige. He placed four bananas in Mule's hands and after a while Mule got the hint that there was no way that Baba was going to put forward his palm for a palmistry session. Yes, There were times when Baba would not give somebody who was seated any prasad no matter how much the person or others pleaded with Baba he would always say it is not i that give but the fakir and if the fakir doesn't wish to then who am i to do otherwise after a delightful meeting with Baba Mule left the mosque and went to the place where he was staying at in Shirdi He had not said his daily prayers so he had a bath and sat down to pray Back in Masjid ai Baba suddenly told one and all 
Today, let us all be covered in saffron colored clothes. Baba had a habit of speaking in parables, and the simple folk were also certain that Baba did not speak for effect. If he had spoken something, there was surely a deep significance to his words. Baba returned from defecating in Lindy Garden, and Babu Sahib Job asked Mule if he would like to come and attend Baba's Aarti. Remember, Mule was an orthodox man, learned but orthodox. The thought of an Aarti being conducted in a mosque did not go down his throat well. Job left for Masjidai, and when he prostrated at Baba's feet, Baba turned to his booty and told him, Go, get Dakshina from your Brahmin friend. Bhuti left immediately to get Dakshina from his friend. In the last few years of Baba's physical life, he had begun to ask for Dakshina from certain people. He would ask only a specific sum, that too, only from certain people. He would often refuse Dakshina from many, as he would say that, the Fakir has said not to accept this now. We shall anyway talk about this in the coming chapters. Bhuti went and told Mule that Baba had asked for Dakshana. Mule was confused. He did not treat Baba as his guru, so he wondered as to why should he be giving him an offering. Plus, the thought that Baba was a Muslim Fakir and he was a Brahmin Agnihotri bothered him. He was confused. In front of him stood his rich friend who was in those days considered to be a millionaire who had come to ask for Dakshina on behalf of a great Fakir. What should he do? He had also not yet completed his prayers. Should he go to a living saint or continue with his prayers? Also, should he give the Dakshina or not? Eventually, he decided that he would go to the mosque, but not enter Masjidai. He would stand outside and pay obeisance to Sai. They left, they reached. He stood outside and showered Baba with flower petals from a distance. His mind was restless, but he was a good man with a clean heart. Suddenly, a miracle took place. Instead of seeing Baba seated, Mulei could only see his Guru, Gopalnath, who had taken Samadhi, seated in Masjidai. Baba had disappeared and in his place sat his Guru in the flesh. Everybody could see Baba Sai, but Mulei could only see his Guru, Gopalnath. He shut his eyes and opened them only to see his Guru still seated. He pinched himself, but his Guru remained in the same spot where Baba Sai was seated. The fact that his Guru, who was proficient in the Vedas and other spiritual scriptures, was seated in a mosque baffled Mule. To say that he was shocked out of his wits would be a poor understatement. Mule walked up the steps of Masjidai and slowly bowed down to his Guru. His Guru was dressed in a saffron robe and moments later, Mule rushed forward and embraced his Guru's feet. The simple Shirdi folk were rather astonished. Minutes earlier, this chap was throwing flowers at their Baba Sai from a distance and now the same chap had dived at Baba's feet with tears flowing down his face. They continued to sing their Aarti, but Mule began to praise his Guru and began to sing Gopalnath's Aarti. After a while, Mule opened his eyes and saw Baba smiling at him. Baba asked, Where is my Dakshana? Mule quickly gave Baba Dakshana and after a while narrated the story of his Guru to those who were present. The simple villagers realized why Baba had earlier said, it is time to be clothed in saff saffron colored clothes. Peace be to all. Baba Sai bless us with calm faith and joyous surrender. Jai Sai.